Okay, welcome back to the channel. So we're just going to gloss over real quickly uh, some of the sounds, talk about some of the sounds, and are they really up to spec? Uh, and they, do they truly deliver an end-to-end -end, um, complete palette of sounds uh, to be considered just a, a, a work or a music production system or a workstation? And first of all, I have to say that kudos to Akai for the new browser and it, and you'll see as i use this it beats sort of the old way of doing things and i'm going to show you the old way because you can still use the um the previous way of sounding finding sounds and all that and i'll kind of go just glance through this so first of all let's just go take a look at the stage ep um i'm going to play the suitcase <laughs> So, thankfully, they have some suitcase mechanic and some electromechanical sounds, and it's really nice. But as you can see, you can go into these folders, and these are your presets. Okay, so here's your suitcase. Okay. And this is really actually a very useful way of browsing. Now, the other way of doing it in the standard, not old-fashioned, but the... NPCs just to go into here and click this right here and then you you can go up here and click here and go through the here's like the app cabinet bank if you will okay so the roads are, are uh the they're relatively solid but you know the if you're a Keyscapes user, or uh, you might be a user of like the Chronos, whatever, uh, it's just nothing really beats a, a, an actual real electromechanical roads. So you're really, there's going to be some compromise somewhere here and there, but overall they've done a, a fairly pretty good job on, on, on the roads. Like I said, you can go into here and choose your plugin. This is sort of the old way, or you hit this and now you're in this menu and not only can you see the plugins but you can also see um oops my bad you can also see the plugins like styles rmx here's the m1 plugin with d50 the rolling cloud uh, this is the apple sampler auto unit sampler um you can launch them but you just can't go through the catalog of the presets and all that there's dext um i wonder if you can go into that let me see something here I don't know if they have the presets for Dext. Well, they do. And that is... Okay, so if you're watching this, this is the first time I saw this. Let me go into a, a preset real quickly. Okay. So Dext, the way they wrote this program, uh, must be using some kind of open standard uh, as far as metadata as air instruments is so i'm just guessing because not all plugins do that okay so let's go back into here and this is sort of the old way of doing things like i said you or you can go back into here and you're back in here and this is really really nice um the op4 which is a fm synthesizer so let's go take a look at some of these um we'll go in the keys real quick so you can get that sort of that if you're looking for that classic DX7. Right. So you can get that. But you can also get, as you can see, the category. Um, Super Sog. And there's just so many sounds to go through. I mean, there's a 
it, it's a ton, but it's not like Omnisphere ton. And then, of course, they got a lot of synth basses, stuff that you've heard before, uh, you know, like the, from the DX7 and all that. Um, but just keep in mind, it, it's inevitable. And here's some of the synth basses, there's a ton. Okay, I'm just, 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 just so much stuff to go through. Um, let me go back to here. Um, stage piano and fabric piano. I'm kind of getting myself through these. And I had noticed um, it's kind of been hit and miss stage piano. So if I go into... Um, so that sounds really good. Right? And so um, I'm going to open up one of these in a minute, the program itself. But it was hit and miss. And then sort of, you sort of got the fabric piano. If I can go into here, let's just go into edit instrument. So here we are. Um, let's see, let's go into preset again. Doodle piano. Okay, so. But I found that, that some of these, uh, you know, you have to tweak them to your playing style. And so it's like the volumes might be a little low. Okay. But there's tons of editing. And then of course, I'm going to show you, these are your cue links. So this is your, here's your work layer station. So all these parameters, like the delay and all that stuff, that, um, which is to say that all the plugins, which is great, this is what makes this better in some ways than all the other workstations that are out there. As the, the way they structure the DSP, which you know from my channel, I'm really big on DSP and effects, is why you can put DSP on the actual mixer, the DSP uh, is at the plugin level. So your reverbs are not part of your system. It's part of the actual plugin itself. So like as you can see, um, the release, all this, uh, the delay mix, the reverb mix, I can adjust all that from here and it's within the plugin. There's nothing. What I like is I can adjust uh, the actual cutoff, especially the release, um, which I like to sometimes, you know, cut it off really, really fast. Right. So, not that much, but... Okay, so anyway, um, let's see. And there's all your presets here. Like I said, you can do it this way, uh, you know, or you can go back into here. And then if you like something like you've seen on the videos, you can you can add it to a, a favorite. Um, let's go into. Um, fabric Excel. So here's your, let's go into pads. Let's go into 
some of these. Yep, symphonic pad. Very nice stuff. Like I said, there's not a ton of um, presets to overwhelm you. Like you'd see like an Omnisphere or whatever. Um, now here's some of the electric pianos that you're going to see. So I'm not actually quite sure if Fabric is the engine behind uh, Stage Piano or Stage Roads. I don't think it is. I think one is actually modeled and one is sample based. But... <laughs> I mean, there's just there's a lot of sounds in here. Now, the I'm not saying it's missing, but the one thing that actually for me is missing is sort of what I call quote unquote an acoustic, um, like multi dimensional kit. And now they have acoustic drum samples and so forth. Um, that you can load up and put them in a key drum, but not quite like Superior Drummer. So that's maybe one little thing that's missing. Um, so, but anyway, um, of course you got Tube Synth. So the one, and the uh, Hype, which is really nice. So the one thing, uh, let me go to the leads here. <laughs> One odd thing about this. Like I said, if I go into edit instrument, um, you can go into the effects and do all the editing. And it's really nice to have the actual effects and so forth. You can bypass them like here. But like if I wanted uh, a longer feedback on the delay or... Okay, so, so the question is, does it have enough sounds to uh, justify calling this an actual production end-to-end -end sort of workstation, if you will? And the answer is, it basically does. Um, now, it's not going to have all the timbre and um, different types of quality of sound that's going to give you a broader range and, and therefore you really can't justify getting rid of everything. You still want to have other stuff around. Uh, so for example, um, this little sequence is done pretty much with everything that's in here except for I'm using moto drums. Let's see if I can play this here. Jupiter 80 or Jupiter X. And you can hear, hopefully you can hear the sound. So immediately you can hear the quality of the Roland um, give it, lending itself to a whole different timbre of frequency of quality of sound that this just can't do, even though it can do a broad range of sounds. Um, like even if I play, um, I'll play the, um, So, 
So as you can hopefully hear in this example, yeah, it's got all the uh, enough of the meat and potatoes to be able to do pretty much full production. I would say with, with the exception of drums, and like I said, you can sample those and create your own uh, you know, key group kit. It's hard to get around that, which is not that difficult. Um, but you still want to have other sounds and other synthesizers. Um, you just would be shortchanging yourself. Um, so I can justify having other stuff outside of this. Um, but the question is, is it worth the 500? That's discounted to have uh, the rest of the plugins. And that really justifies um, sort of that combination of, of the convenience of having everything um, the, you know, the capability of, uh, of having the hands-on control, um, the integration in here, and perhaps it may, it may be worthy of the discounted $500 that is, uh, to upgrade this. I mean, like I said, the sounds... done well enough. I mean, our instruments really knocked it out of the park. And again, like I said, the plugins and the DSP that it has inside the actual plugin itself is, is real slick. I mean, it really is a forward way of thinking um, when you're creating sound design and all that and not have to rely um, like on the inserts, which you can have, which you have tons of plugins, by the way. On here, I mean, going here, I mean, it's just it's ridiculous, but and all that. So, as a matter of fact, uh, I believe here's the amp simulator right here. That that's a whole nother plug in its set in its self, obviously. Um, so I would say Kai has a. a, a pretty cool thing going on and they can only expand on it like i said if there was one other thing that they could add would be sort of that superior drummer junior uh, or some kind of um percussion program like that but so anyway this is my first quick brief tour and dying um opinion and so don't forget to leave any questions or comments uh, on the channel and until next time peace out